Students, now let us look at a survey of buyers and coal which was done in 1996. This is all about the logistics measurement or logistic metric survey. Metrics were ranked by managers in the transportation and distribution functions respectively. They were ranked on a scale of one to seven with one being not important and seven very important. So there were two type of managers for this survey. One is the transportation, one actually belongs to tra transportation managers and the other ones were the distribution managers. So there were two different functionalities and they were asked to have a ranking of one to seven. One of course represented that that metric or that measurement or that factor is not important for them, whereas seven actually represented very strong importance for, th for them, either in transportation or either in distribution. The logistic metrics and the ranking from the transportation managers and distribution managers are given in the table. On-time delivery was ranked, the average ranking was 6.83 from the transportation managers, whereas for distribution managers, it was 6.67. So more or less, both of them actually emphasized on on-time delivery. Why? Because it is close to seven for both of them. Transportation, in terms of transportation, it was slightly higher than distribution. Complete and damage-free delivery was important for both of them, with transportation being slightly higher. Now, the differentiating result was for the order cycle time, which was 5.5 on average for the transportation managers and 6.6 .6 for distribution managers. In other terms, order cycle time was important for transportation managers, but it was very important for the distribution managers. Similarly, average transit time was not that important for the distribution managers with the average of five, whereas the average transit time was very important for the transportation managers with the average of 6.4. Percentage back orders was not that important issue for the transportation managers because their average ranking was 4 on it. Whereas for the distribution managers, it was very important with the average of 6.14. On all other metrics, they had more or less same type of responses other than the inventory accuracy, which was not very important for the transportation manager, but was very important for the distribution manager because inventory turnover and inventory control is more pertinent to the distribution. Then throughput dollars per total inventory was very important for the distribution managers, but it had no importance or literally the transportation managers even don't know about the throughput dollar per total inventory metric because that doesn't fall in their domain. Similarly, the value of inventory adjustments, the, when you adjust the inventory like after consolidation, the, there is some shortage or you have to fulfill some other requirements. That was very important for the distribution managers, but it had no importance for the transportation managers because it doesn't fall in their domain. Similarly, the percentage transactions processing errors was important for the distribution managers, but it had no importance for the transportation managers. Zero here means they didn't have any clue about it and they had never looked into these metric because it doesn't pertain to them. And number of orders shipped per year was important for distribution managers in terms of measurement, but not for the transportation managers. So students, we have seen the behavior of the transportation and distribution managers from this survey. We can conclude that, that both domains are not same 
you can also see from the metrics and the ranking provided by different transportation and distribution managers there are some metrics which are not important for transportation but are important for distribution and there are some which are not that important for distribution but are important for the transportation so both are actually different from each other thank you